Today we're making an old-fashioned lentil soup, what I make for 50 years for my Sata family. All that we need is a bunch of carrots, a bunch of celery, and an onion, and lentil. Now let's start. First, you peel your carrots. Then you slice it in small strips and cut them in little tiny cubes. After we've done with the carrots, we take the celery and cut them in little long strips and dice them like you did the carrots. Now I cut the onion. This recipe basically came from my mother. I ate the same lentil soup since I was a little kid. It took me a while to get it down to an easy meal. Even so, it's just a plain old recipe. Lentil and vegetables are very healthy and the onions, of course, makes you a little cry. So after we cut all the vegetables, it makes a big dish for it. My grandkids and my husband, especially in the winter, like to come home to a warm, healthy meal. All what you have to do is take a big pot, pour some little olive oil in it. You have to look in there. Yes, a little olive oil. Turn the heat on high. When it starts simmering, you have to put the vegetables in. You put some salt, pepper. Let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. In the meanwhile, I have some hot water cooking. When this is done, I put hot water in it. Instead of hot water, you can use uh, vegetable broth. I'm used to water like the old-fashioned way. Now I think it is sauteed enough and we add some hot water to it. Now I add the lentil. You always have to check, put the lid on, and have to check if it gets thicker and needs more water. Let me turn it low so it simmers. Put the lid on, and that's it. Every like 10 minutes, check, stir it a little bit. If you need to, add some more water. So, for me, it's time to go. Throw in the pot. Is it? Is it? No, it's steam coming out. Huh? Steam coming out of the pot. Huh? The pot is steaming, I said. Oh, so let me get to my. What else do I need? My jacket. What's your favorite part about the lentil pup? The lentil, eating it. <laughs> That's the best part. So eat it. It's cooking now for an hour, and see. If it is done, mm. I think it still has a little bite, but I think came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. To the next time we do our cooking show, auf Wiedersehen.